Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here and welcome to our YouTube hop called But It's So Pretty. So there's a challenge for this hop and you'll get all the information on the blog post and I'm just going to get started showing you my layout process. So the first thing I did was pick that item in my scrap room that I've been ho holding on to and not wanting to use because it's so pretty. And that is this Dear Lizzie from the Neapolitan collection, um, ruffled like crepe paper. And I'm showing you the supplies that I'm using. I end up using a different photograph, but I I just left this in because you can see all the other things that I use, which most of it is from the Felicity Jane kits that I have. And then just a bunch of extra things that I pulled in from my stash that are the yellow colors. I don't end up using some of this and some of the things I do use you don't see here. So I'm just this is just my initial thought process of what I wanted to use. So I pulled out all these things that had yellow in them. I don't really have a lot of yellow. So now I've kind of narrowed it down and figured out my composition a little bit and changed my photograph. So I'm going to use that pineapple paper from Studio Calico. And then the background paper and the stripe paper are from Felicity Jane. And then, of course, that really pretty, um, I don't know even what to call it. It's like crepe, ruffly paper from Dear Lizzie. And... I thought that this is how I was going to do the composition of the layout to begin with, and I really like the way this looks, except that once I thought more about it, I didn't really have a place for my title, so I end up changing this around a little bit, and you'll see in a second. But I do go down this path for a little bit with it, with it in this kind of composition, I guess is the word. And that is a photograph of my husband and our dog sitting by the pool. And I pur purposely edited it in this really contrasting black and white. I used the Beautiful Mess app to do it. And I think the filter is called Roscoe um, because I wanted it to kind of look really great on that black and white background. And sometimes when you turn photos black and white they get a little bit of a yellowish tint to it and I want it to be like stark black and white so it's kind of blown out but I do like the way that it looks it looks better in person so I'm just taking a picture I started doing this more because a lot of times I'll put a composition together and then forget so I did take a picture to see and I'm already changing it as you can see here which it doesn't stay this way either it ends up completely different but you know that's all part of the process so I did cut down a little bit of that polka dot paper and I'm going to back it on some white cardstock just to give it a little more stability. And I also cut down the uh, ruffly paper because I didn't really like the white part of it. I just wanted the two different yellows. So I just cut it into sections and then flipped one going in one direction and one going in another direction. And I'm going to kind of fold up the edges of that black and white paper. And I had to erase something. I don't know what I got on there, but a little something I had to erase. <laughs> and, oh, I'm just getting my glue gun turned on, which I don't even know if I use my glue gun in this one. Because that glue gun is way too strong. I'm cutting down this little piece of gold foil scallop that's also from a Felicity Jane kit. And putting it in the upper right-hand corner. And... I'm using this alphabet, which I believe is from Pink Paisley, but it also came in a Felicity Jane kit. And that overlay is from Chamel. And I wanted to put the overlay in there so I had a, like something to hold the title up. I didn't want it to be like inside of the frame. And that frame is just like a cardstock frame from an old Dear Lizzie collection. I can't remember which one. And this little black label with the word, it says the word, it says swoon, which I think is super cute. That's from the new Studio Calico, uh, I believe it's called Amelia Collection. So I'm just looking through my labels, and you see here I have that space to have, have the label at the bottom. Well, once I start putting down my alphas, I think I forget that I wanted to put that there, and I don't leave room for it. So I'm just using some glossy accents, and I have it in this little fine line... Um, bottle and I, I really love that it it makes it so much easier to use glossy accents and I realized that I had 
um, zeros instead of O's so I because they were really wide so I switched those out and the title is going to be pool time and you can kind of see that overlay as a heart with some stripes on it and I moved the t word time over a little bit to the left just so I would have room to put that gold heart and I was just looking to see if there was a difference between the M and the W but I don't think that there is because sometimes they're shaped a little bit differently and then I'm just going to put that little heart on some foam adhesive. And see, now when I put the label down, there's really not enough room. So I'm just kind of figuring out where I want to place that. And I decided to add this little arrow at the bottom to fill that space because it's kind of a, a weird blank space there. And then I put some foam adhesive behind my photograph. And I'm also going to put some foam adhesive behind the little frame. Oh, here I use my glue gun, which was probably the worst place ever to use it because that sticker, it just doesn't work. So you can see there I have a little thin line of foam adhesive behind the frame, and then I'm going to add a little bit to the arrow too, just so that it doesn't get smushed down or pop off or anything. It's kind of like a shaker card without the shaker part. I could have filled it with stuff and put some paper behind it and made it into a shaker, but I felt like with that alphabet, and it, was, it would just be too busy, so I just left it alone. And now I have some of this glitter washi tape from Felicity Jane, and it is really cool. It's super thin. It's not like any other glitter like tape or anything that I have. I really like it. And now I'm just trying to figure out something to fill that space underneath the photograph. And I'm going to end, actually end up stamping on it, which was a little bit risky, but I did test it out on some of the white um, paper that I had cut off, the white ruffle paper. So I will do that in a second. But first I'm going to add the other half of that little scallopy border to the bottom left-hand corner of the photograph just to kind of tie it in. And then there's kind of a weird space there between the label and the border, so I'm going to end up adding a heart. And then I add this little striped arrow, which is also from Felicity Jane Kit. So are these gold hearts. It was from one of the cut-up hearts. Um, one of the things you can, like, uh, die-cut pieces. She sends, like, a printout of die-cuts, and you can you cut them out yourself. And that was one of them. And then the hearts, the gold hearts were in a separate thing. I think then I look at my picture and go, oh, well, this turned out completely different than the photograph I took to begin with. <laughs> Either that or I'm changing the music. So now I'm just thinking. I'm thinking about what to put in that bottom underneath the photo because I feel like it's blank space and it needs something. Now looking at it now, I feel like I kind of could have left it the way that it is, but I really like what I end up doing. I guess I could have edited some of this out because I'm literally just thinking of what to do and twirling my thumbs. So I really liked this challenge. I liked, you know, going into my stash and finding that thing that had been there for a long time that I always pull out to use but then never actually use. So that's kind of where the theme for this challenge came was to take that thing and use it. So now I've decided I want to put some words at the bottom like David and Jack who, which are in the photograph and so I pull out these little tiny studio calico stickers from one of the Project Life kits and they fit perfectly down there so I'm just going to spell out David and Jack and then I'm going to get some stamps out <clears throat> I think they're all from Felicity Jane kits. They make the best stamp sets. They're so cute. If you get a kit um, or subscribe to the kit club, you um, get a 4x6 stamp set in your kit, which is awesome. But you can also get it separately if you want to. But this is not a Felicity Jane video, sponsored video or anything like that. I just really love the kits. And I hadn't really used them very much. And so I wanted to, to use them. So I thought that that 
that was also something that I hadn't used that I needed to get some use out of. So it fit perfectly in with this challenge. So like I said, I'm going to stamp on that ruffle pa paper. But what I'm worried about is it absorbing the ink and it's spreading so it, it won't maintain like a clear, crisp image. And since I'm using a word stamp, it's very important that it stays legible. So I'm testing it out on this white piece and I use VersaFine ink and it seems to do just fine. It doesn't run or bleed or anything. So that's what I use and it, it did turn out perfectly because I did this layout a few days ago and just took the pictures today and it still looks just fine. So it says you are my favorite and it has little hearts on either side and I think it fills the space just perfectly. And then the last thing I'm going to do is add a date stamp to that label. And then also, I'm looking up the date here, I felt like some of the polka dots would look really cool if they were hearts instead. And I have absolutely no artistic talent whatsoever. I can't, I, mean, I can make draw a heart, but not a bunch of symmetrical hearts that all look the same. So I decided to pull out a little heart stamp from one of these Felicity Jane stamp sets and stamp over some of the polka dots to turn them into hearts. And I think it looks so cool. I really love the way that it turned out. Um, I'm just adding some foam adhesive behind this banner up there because it turned out all wonky from the hot glue. So again, I'm going to test this to see if it works. Well, I already did. I just didn't show that part underneath one of the the pictures. And I just I think it looks so cute. And I'm just using a little that piece of paper there on the edge so that I don't uh, get it onto the white cardstock. Because remember, I mounted this all on white cardstock. So I'm just adding them here and there where I think just randomly, not like any kind of set pattern. And I just think that it really finishes off the layout and kind of breaks up that polka dot a little bit because it is the polka dot paper is busy and then I put a lot of stuff on top of it so I feel like even though I'm adding something else it kind of breaks breaks up the overall look of the polka dots and makes it a little bit less busy I don't know if that makes sense but in my thought process it made sense so I think that's going to finish up the layout I'm just gonna do a last few things glue down that edge and Here's what it looks like. I'm going to have some close-up pictures. So make sure to head over to my blog to enter into all the giveaways. And also the link to the next um, video will be below. So I'm going to show you a little um, photo reel of some of the giveaway prizes that we have. Now, not all of these can be won on my blog. You're going to have to go and watch all of the videos because some of the people doing the videos are going to have some sneaky little giveaways on their channels. So thanks guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see what you create. Don't forget to upload your photos or make a video and leave a comment. All of those directions will be on the blog. Thanks guys so much and I'll see you real soon. Bye.